Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to insert a little video into this video that I just made. So I may repeat myself a little bit. It's going to show you the blocks, the Lego blocks. I had a request to show them, so that's what I'm going to do. Today I wrapped the rest of the presents for the kids and for my children and my husband and I spent a lot, a lot of time. I actually had some paper that was so old, it had been wound for so long that when I went to wrap it, it would like curl back in and then you had to fight it with your arms and try to make it stay straight. And I finally got it wrapped. Then I was thinking there's a few things that if I had boxes, I used to save boxes. I didn't save them anymore. But I thought they would be good in a box. But because I don't save boxes, I went upstairs. I do have gift bags that I could use. And so I used gift bags. And plus I got one from Karina. And that came in very helpful, very handy. Um, and I hung Karina's ornament on the tree today. I forgot to do that yesterday. But I hung it on there today. So that's on the tree. And I put all the presents under the tree. Today has been a busy day. And I crocheted a lot. I, I love crocheting. I had been asked to show the blocks in a brighter color. Since I've been working on brighter colors, these are all scrap. This is scrap material. So as you can see, this is the Lego Afghan. Aren't they pretty? These are some of the colors that I had extra. And this is what I'm doing is I'm using up my um, leftover yarn. This, I've done only one of the dark blue. I only I have three of these and that'll be it. There will be no more of the light blue because I don't have any more of that color. But this is what they look like. And then I have to, what I have to do is I have to stitch them all together. I'm supposed to take them like this, wrong sides together. You wanna hold it? Thank you. I have to put wrong sides together, line it up, and decide what color I want to use as my in-between color and I do a single crochet and then you open them up but I don't know what order I'm going to put them in yet I don't even know what colors I'm going to have I know I need about 80 some blocks though just to make a small um, baby afghan that I did see one that made a scarf and so I could make a scarf, but I probably won't. I'll probably make a little afghan, and then one of the kids will get it. I don't know which one. Probably one of the boys, maybe, will want it. I don't know. But anyways, this is the blocks. And I don't know if any of you... This was a, this was a spool of yarn. This was what was left over. And I don't know, I won't take it out of the bag because then I have to stuff it back in. But when when you make make a ball, you can actually make a pull skein ball. See, mine still pulls. And it's coming right out of the middle is where it's coming out. And I can show you how to make that. I'll make a small. What you do is you, if you want to make a pull skein, because sometimes you can buy yarn that's not in a skein. And what you do is you make like a little bit of a tail. And then you wrap around your fingers and make your fingers kind of loose. Jim, you want to make this come out? Because I'm going to make it come out of there. Um, hold the bag so it doesn't follow me. I'm going to roll it around my hand. And then you make sure that you just leave it loose and keep that little tail free. And you roll it around your hand again in a different direction. And then keep that little piece free. And then roll around your hand and keep it loose. Because you want the middle to be very loose. And after you've got the middle where you think you've got enough there, then you can start winding like you're winding a regular ball. And you just wind, wind, wind. And you make sure you leave this little tail free. This is how you make a pull skein out of a leftover yarn. And then say, I'm, say my ball was already all put in. I'm not going to do it all. And then you just take it and you pull like magic see and you're making your you're doing a pulse you did a pulse gain so if you have yarn that's left over and you don't want it to tangle you can make your own little ball and then I stuck it in a bag to make it easier to keep it from 
getting dirty is the only reason I put it in there. So that's your lesson of today, I guess, teaching you how to make a pulse cane. And I'm crocheting with all my leftover little bits and pieces, so I'm going to have a lot of different colors. Maybe nothing will match, and maybe it all will look it'll look good together. Because Legos, when you dump them into the basket, they're just all mixed up anyways, so it won't matter. And that's it for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.